Hi Aquarius, welcome to your spirit messages for November. This is Miri and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, how to book a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media, tons of stuff down there, so please do go check it out. Thank you to everybody for all your support, whether you're a new subscriber, whether you've reached out for personal reading, or whether you uh, bless me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel. It is all greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for the support and helping me get the messages out to the people that need to hear them and being a part of the channel's growth. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what Spirit wants you to know for the month of November. It can be for the month of November or whenever you see this, tell whenever. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though they are dated. That's just so um, viewers know in what order they were uploaded. So, okay, what does Spirit take what resonates, throw away what doesn't? Okay, Aquarius, hope everybody's doing well. Happy fall, happy November. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know, Aquarius, at this time. What are the messages for Aquarius, Spirit, please? Can we get three messages for Aquarius? What do they need to know at this time, please? Thank you so much. Three messages for Aquarius. Three messages for Aquarius. I'm going to pull three from each Oracle deck. If you don't want to watch the shuffling, you can um, fast forward ahead if you'd like to. Okay, we have two there. We have one more. Feel that one. Okay, let's get three from this deck. All the decks were pre-shuffled ahead of time, but I do like to shuffle a little more on camera for some fresh energy. All right, let's see, Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know at this time? What are the messages for Aquarius, please? Can we have three messages for Aquarius? One more, one more, and that one. From this deck and then we're going to clarify with the tarot over there just to give a little more extra clarification for all the messages all right three messages for Aquarius what do they need to know at this time spirit please what do you want to tell Aquarius what does Aquarius need to know oh all right there's two there one more, one more for Aquarius. Oh, that's too many. All right, so let's pick one. And we'll pick this one. Okay. <laughs> I only wanted three and they gave me four. So, all right, let's see what your messages are. We have here change. I understand that, that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So there may be something in your life here that you feel needs to change. Um, could be anything, could be something personally, it could be um, your home, it could be a job, it could be career, it could be anything, uh, move, you know, moving, it could be something, something with change here, movement and change. Happiness, I am, aware, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So uh, I'm getting here that that if you've been thinking about change, only you know what that is in your life, person, place, thing, career, home, anything, then Spirit wants you to know that when you do this change, then you, you will be in your true happiness here. Okay, what else do we have here? Love, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. So Spirit is telling you here to be more loving, caring, compassionate, peaceful kind of energy, um, and to see the good in all things, not just the bad. So it's weird because it goes from change, brings in happiness, 
and being in that state of just loving your life and self-love kind of energy. Wow, okay. So we have here, dance with life, do something to change our energy. Oh my God, I can't make this up. Change, do something to change your energy. Dance with life. So something in your life I feel needs a really, really big change here. And only you know what that is. Soul family, call in your tribe. You don't have to do it alone. So this is, you know, your friends, your family, um, your co-workers, somebody that, people that you're very close to. If you feel you need help, if you feel you need support, encouragement, advice, whatever here, it's Spirit is telling you to seek out your soul family. It could be blood family. It could just be best friends. It could be anything here. Even a social circle, uh, even Facebook social circles, you know, getting that support that you need. You don't have to do it alone. If it's a big change you're doing, you don't have to do it alone. Star seed, what lights you up? So some of you definitely could have some gifts here. And star seed, I'm not an expert on like star seeds and stuff like that. So let me just read um, a little bit about that. Do do if I could find it. All right. Of course, it's not going to be easy to find. Oh, here it is. Star seed. What lights you up? Star seeds are souls with a double mission to raise their own consciousness and the consciousness of the planet. They are old souls who have incarnated elsewhere beyond this planet. Many star seeds arrive with a feeling that time is running out and there is something that they came here to do or create or contribute. If you pulled this card, it's confirmed that you are a, you are a star seed and you are being encouraged to answer the call. Do to follow what lights you up. Once awake, most starseed souls find it hard to have meaningless conversations, jobs, and relationships. They innately know that there is much more to life and feel that there is something more and get to work. They remain restless until they step into their calling, which is to light up the world with their unique presence. Starseeds are scattered all over the planet in hospitals and schools, in slums and mansions, on stages and in edit suits in parks, in nightclubs, in taxis, and theme parks. Many star seeds spend parts of their lives trying to fit in or in some form of spiritual closet. If you, are, if you are dimming your light to fit in, it is time that you stop and start embracing the unique light that you came here to share and treat your time on earth like a glorious vacation. Hmm. So, Again, I'm not an expert on star seed, so I am not sure exactly what a star seed is. But um, if you feel that you're different, or you feel like you have sp special gifts, or you're not from this planet, or you feel like different for some reason, then this is to confirm that that probably is indeed true for you, for some of you. All right, let's see where we what we have here. Breathe. The breath is the vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe, spirit, and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. So this is telling you just to breathe, just take time to relax, to catch your breath, to take a minute to just relax and um, calm down, you know. <laughs> Okay, so what do we have here? Cleanse. Your body, mind, and soul are urging you to take time out for some much-needed cleansing. Just as you wash your car, clean the house, or tidy your office, your body also needs care and attention. It's time for some spiritual, emotional, and physical cleansing. So that's a message for some of you. And stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. And I feel that goes over here. I'm actually going to put it this way. 
with all this change and happiness and then living in true love, peace, and happiness. I feel once, because you got change here, you got change here. You don't have to do it alone. You have friends, family, coworkers, social groups, whatever here to help you. And some of you who feel that you are a star seed, a light worker, anything like that. It's a confirmation of that. Standing your ground here. Just breathe, take time, relax, don't rush. You know, just take time. Take your time is what I'm getting with that. And cleanse. Some of you may need to cleanse and purge things no longer serving you. People, places, things. Some of you may need to just do a physical cleansing of your body. You know, juicing or eating more healthy or something like that. All right. So we have a lot of different messages here. So let's see Aquarius. What's going on? Let's clarify a lot of these cards for you, Aquarius, these messages. I'll pull about one tarot per card. See what we get here. So what is this change about? That's too many. What is this change about for Aquarius? Spirit, please. I just want one card. What is this change about for Aquarius? The fool, wow. So the fool here is all about change. It's about resetting, restarting at zero. See, Reset, resetting, restarting at zero, taking a leap of faith towards something new, towards a change, towards a whole new beginning. Taking a leap of faith. So this is telling you that if you've been thinking about change, it's telling you to take that leap. Only you know what that is, so... Whatever change here you've been thinking about, spirit saying, take that leap. Don't be foolish about it, you know, but take that leap. Reset, restart at zero. All right, so what is this happiness about? What is this happiness about for Aquarius? Wow, Queen of Cups, so... <laughs> So this is being, you know, loving, caring, nurturing, giving, intuitive, listening to your intuition, uh, peace and harmony, loving um, nature. Yeah, so I feel once you, wow, you take that leap, this is pure love and happiness, the Queen of Cups. And listening to your intuition here, taking that leap will bring you into that Queen of Cups energy. All right, so what is this love about? It's funny because I feel like the Queen of Cups belongs on love because cups are all about love, emotions, and feelings, intuition, and that sort of energy. But let's see what this love is about for, I mean, some of you could be getting new love coming in for some of you. Strength. So, um, you know, this is being strong, courageous, and brave, having willpower, endurance, confidence, Knowing when to hold back, when you know when to resist, you know, taming the beast within. That's all about having that strength and having that self-love for yourself. All right, so strong self-love for yourself, I feel. So what is this dance of life about for Aquarius? Do something to change your energy. So that could be, you know, just uh, going out, having fun, uh, doing something different you don't usually do, um, trying something new just to change your energy. Or this could go right along with the change over here. So what is that about? Success here with the Six of Pentacles is about balance. I'm getting like equal equilibrium, if I could speak, balance here with the... Um, Pentacle energy and success. So, so I mean, pentacles are usually about career, finance, and that kind of energy. So maybe some of you need to, if you've been thinking this change, if it's about your career, then that's probably what, what that could be for some of you. And I feel like it will bring you much, much more balance. You will feel much more balanced. All right, so what is this soul family about? What is this soul family about? 
for Aquarius. You don't have to do it alone. Call in your tribe, soul family. King of Pentacles, so being very strong and uh, balanced, stable and grounded. I feel like if you're trying to do things alone, that you'll feel much more stable and secure and safe if you get support, help from others, whether it's advice, could be financial support. Um, if you feel like that's what you need, you may have somebody here who has the finances maybe to help you. I mean, you can always pay them back. But if you're thinking about reaching out for monetary support for somebody, whether it's like, you know, like a personal loan, but like with a friend or a family member, you know, with all intentions of, you know, paying them back or whatever here, I would say go for it. Because there's a king of pentacles here that I think will be willing to support you, help you. And that's also the king of pentacles, very stable, secure, grounded energy. Um, I feel like you'll be able to get ahead and you'll be more balanced with the six of pentacles and um, <clears throat> be able to make your money, be able to like get ahead. Some of you, I feel, you know, it could be a career change here for some of you and you'll be much more stable, grounded, make more money. Your finances will improve. Wow, that went flying on the floor. Flying like across the room, so I gotta go get that. <laughs> All right, so, oh my gosh, yeah, I, I feel like your life is like, ah, uh, just maybe a mess or like, I don't know, I'm like knocking shit over, my cards are going flying across the room. All right, so what is the star seed about for Aquarius? What is the star seed about? For Aquarius, let me take that one. Well, we got the Three of Swords. So this is like a sorrow, heartbreak, pain. So some of you may feel um, like you don't fit in anywhere. Like you feel kind of sad maybe and depressed because you don't feel like you fit in or you feel like like you're not of this world, like you just like, I don't fit in anywhere and I feel very sad, heartbroken, lonely, whatever here. Kind of like the same energy. If you look at these two cards, it's kind of like the same energy. So spirit wants you to know that you don't have to be sad and sorrow because this is also the soul family. You can find people, many support groups on Facebook and that kind of energy to help, <clears throat> help you, support you, help you understand this energy and you don't have to feel sorrowful here. All right, they can help you find your way. You can help, they can help you find your light. All right. What is this stand your ground about for Aquarius? What is this stand your ground about for Aquarius? Wow, the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel by standing your ground, setting boundaries, standing up for yourself, that this is the divine wheel of timing, fate, destiny, things going in a better direction, things going much smoother, going in your favor. I feel by standing your ground and doing what's best for you, that things will go in a better direction for you. Your life will be much better rather than maybe for some of you, you know, letting your, um, letting friends or family walk all over you. All right, so what is Breathe here about for Aquarius? What is Breathe about here for Aquarius? The Eight of Cups. So this is an energy of like walking away from things no longer serving you or walking to something more fulfilling. But what I'm getting is... Uh, if something here, you know, if you come across things that like totally, I I'm getting, if you need to just like breathe and walk away from things that are just toxic to you or not serving you or it's just too much or whatever here, situations and you're like, you know what, just walk away from it and take a breather. That's what, it's actually what I'm getting with that. It's just like walk away from it, take a breather, go take some time for yourself, go outside, get some air, whatever. If you feel overwhelmed or stressed, 
by a person, a place, a situation, just walk away and go take some deep breaths. That's actually what I'm getting. All right, so what is this cleanse about for Aquarius? And Spirit wants you to know it's okay to do that. It's okay to walk away and say, look, you know, I can't deal with this right now. Or, you know, I don't have time for this, whatever. Um, I just need to go outside for a minute or just step away and take a breather. And Spirit wants you to know that's totally fine. You do what you need to do. All right, so what is this cleanse, cleanse about for Aquarius spirit, please? Temperance. Yeah, so this is balance, peace, harmony, uh, healing energy, patient energy. So, yeah, I feel like some of you may be feeling out of balance physically, emotionally. Maybe your body just doesn't feel right. And Spirit wants you to know by doing this cleansing, purging, uh, physically, mentally, you know, uh, letting out anger, sadness, cry, you know, scream, yell, whatever here. Um, you know, cleaning up your, your space, your home, um, cleansing people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. Sometimes you have to purge people, places, and things that are no longer serving you. And also your body, you know, eating better, drinking healthier beverages or you know doing a juice cleanse or something like that or a detox cleanse or something like that spirit watch you or know you will feel so much more balanced in the end if you do that so it could be different things for different people whatever here resonates for you whatever kind of cleanse you think you need it could be all of the above or it could be you know one or two things here so spirit saying to balance yourself out, some of you need to do this, cleanse certain things in your life. All right, I'm going to go over the energy of the bottom of the deck, but before I do that, Aquarius, if you do like my, my energy, how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post all my new readings. You'll get four readings a month. You'll get a spirit guide messages. You'll get for singles who's coming towards you. You'll get a love connection reading if you have a connection with somebody. And then you'll get a um, tarot forecast, which is a general reading for the month. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you. So let's go over the bottom of the deck here. So we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so this is laying down burdens, situations, people, places, things, something that is totally weighing you down, tying you down, burdening you, whatever here. It could have to do with this change that you need to make. Could be with this cleansing. Could be anything here. This is ending that which burning some energy which is no longer serving you. No, two of swords, maybe indecisive about how do I do about go about this change. You know, um, indecisive and confused about you know the star seed energy. Or, you know, about my future, you know, if there's something with your career or your finances you're unsure about. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. I'm indecisive. Spirit wants you to know you have all the answers right here that I just went over. So please keep that in mind. And this will bring you peace. Prince of Wands. So this is fire energy. So this is moving forward. A lot of drive, ambition, drive, uh, passion, go-getter, going after it kind of energy living life having that zest for life so i feel some of you you know if you move forward very passionately and did, with all this determination to do these changes or whatever you need to do need to do here will be all for your own betterment seven of swords so you know feeling feeling defeated feeling um you know this is an energy of feeling deceived or something like that or you know, even conflict around you. So maybe you feel like you've been deceived by people or there's people around you no longer serving you. Maybe they've lied to you in the past. They cheated you, but you always forgave them. You know, maybe there was always strife and conflict, but you always, you know, made up and then it just kept happening and happening. This could be that change of letting and cleansing and letting that energy go, but also with the Ten of Wands. Because what will that bring you? The Ten of Cups total joy and happiness, fulfillment in every single way, feeling so much more happier and at peace with happiness and love with the Ten of Cups energy and the King of Cups. So really, King or Queen doesn't matter. So being 
So we have the queen over here too. So that's like double confirmation of being in that high vibration of love, happiness, peace, joy, compassion, peace and harmony kind of energy. And being in your empress power. Being in your, you know, giving birth to new things, a whole new life, making these changes and being brave enough to do that. And, you know, embodying all the queens of the deck, being like that strong motherly figure also bringing justice into your life clarity truth balance yep being in your empress power full of love compassion peace and harmony total fulfillment in every single way getting out of the conflict conflict and deceit from other people no longer serving you and moving forward that drive ambition and passion no being indecisive but once you do that and lay down these oppressions you will have all the peace that you need Wow, Aquarius, a lot of messages there. So I hope some of them resonated for you and good luck to you. Sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.